driving Ivan here, and uh, this is a Wayne Carini event. It's a Concord of Lemons, partially, but uh, Wayne Carini is actually up on the stage talking right now. I'm going to walk you through and show you the cars here at the Amelia here in, uh, well, the Amelia at the Ritz Carlton, uh, which will be a Concord, Radwood, and a bunch of car events. I've already shown you the Broad Arrow auction cars elsewhere on YouTube. Uh, that video is uploading as we speak, but here's a whole bunch of Morgans. And uh, this is pretty cool. You don't see these very often. The Arrow 8, Richard Hammond famously has one of these. The hamster, of course, on Top Gear and World Tour, Grand Tour. Uh, 2005, Morgan Arrow 8. Still making them the way they used to, except for this one. But these Morgans look great. The plus fours and the plus eights, depending on the engine. Four or eight cylinders. Very cool stuff. Oh, I saw that uh, Corvair earlier. I'll show you that in a second. Cheshire County Fire Brigade. Looks like kind of a Radwood event over there, too. A lot of cool cars out here. It's so cool to be traveling and away from, you know, where I live. Because I, I get to see different cars than I'm used to at these car shows. Always see the same cars, really. And it's nice to see, uh, you know, plenty of Corvettes, of course. But uh, these are different. This Corvair is really cool. Really nice. I'm a big Corvair fan. Have a full driving review of this one. Um, my convertible. This is a later one, I believe. Mid 60s, probably. Primrose yellow Corvette here. Sure, the year. 1965, it says. So there you go. But Corvairs, basically the same technically as a Porsche 911. Unsafe at any speed. That's what Ralph Nader said. Watch my driving review of my Corvair convertible. And I tell you that whole story of how I met Ralph Nader and how he uh, did something interesting and special. But uh, this is uh, this is cool. There's one at the uh, Broad Arrow auction. It's going up for uh, auction. I think it's 700000 or something. They're expecting. Pretty high number, I thought. But, you know, these uh, split windows are rare. Only 63, so... There you go, early Corvette, red with white. Uh, let's see what we're looking at here. There you go, 1958. They also had one of these at the auction, I believe. This one, Ford Mustang, Fox Body, Cobra. See right here. So, here you go. Very cool, another Jeep. That's a nice looking Jeep. Really cool. Shelby Mustang. Really cool. Uh, 1968. Rare color probably for a Corvette. That's very cool color. Um, love it. Look at that. Very, very cool. This is kind of resto modded here. Hot rod resto mod. Looking good. Blacked out roof here. It's a uh, 68 Chevelle. I had a 70, my first car, but these are this is lean, mean, and bad looking. This is like the uh, old man's on uh, Pawn Stars, I think. Sort of. Lincoln Continental here. Look at that Baja. Look at this Baja Safari Cayenne driving up. How cool is that? Yeah. That's a good looking car. I'm sure I'll see that somewhere displayed tomorrow, I would think. All right, I'm going to show you the rest of the cars. Here we go. GT350 Mustang Camaro here. This one's looking real right. love the way this one looks. Camaro. <laughs> Looks like a early Chevelle convertible. Ranchero. Always love these. Finally reviewed an El Camino. Did a driving review on an SS clone El Camino. That's pretty cool. Ooh, there's the Lotuses over there. I'll show you those in a second. Trans Am, 400, Flying Chicken, <laughs> TR 6.6, another Trans Am. Wow, look at this. It's attracting a lot of attention. What do we have here? Hmm. Cunningham. Wow, looks like a barn fine Cunningham, really. I show you some clean Cunninghams. I have a video of a clean Cunningham. Uh, usually white with blue stripes and that sort of thing. But these were raced in the uh, 50s and looks looks like it's been signed and autographed. That's pretty cool. 
Yeah. Oh, across yeah. the wow. It was amazing. I, I met I was, freaks there. I didn't meet him. But it's cunning. I did see. <laughs> very, very nice. Concord lemons over there. You got some pintos and things. I'll show you those in a second. But first, I'm going to show you a couple of lotuses. If you think this car looks similar to a Miata, well, you're right. Basically, Mazda just stole this car and made it the Miata. This is what the Mazda Miata was based on. The 60s Lotus Elan, 1600 engine, the twin cam Lotus. Beautiful engine. Uh, this is pretty cool too, actually. Lotus Esprit, if you want to know what it's like to drive the Esprit, well, I have one. Just search driving Ivan in any car, including this Lotus Esprit, and you shall see it. Ooh, and I have a real classified series. And this is it. This is a V8. Mine's a 2.2 liter turbo. But this is a V8. It's for sale. I don't mind helping the guy out, selling his car for him. Send me a commission. He's asking $75,000. Radwood. These are great cars. I love them. Lotus, simplify and add lightness. That's the philosophy, and that's what they do. Again, watch my full driving review of my Europa or my Esprit. Either or or both. And uh, on down the line we go. Let's check them out. Jaguar Mark 9 Saloon MGB. And then I've already shown you the uh, Morgans, but I don't know if I've shown you these. So we'll show you this row as well. Very cool. It's a modern looking one. Plus 8. Is it the 50th anniversary? Plus 8? Yes. That... Very cool. So what year? 2018. 2018. 2018. There you go. So, 50 year anniversary. 68 to 2018. Is my math right? I hope it is. <laughs> Very cool. Thanks for bringing it out. Very cool. Roadster. Uh, Austin Healy Sprite. I have a Sprite and a Midget. MG Midget and Sprite called the Spridgets. This one's a Bug Eye, Frog Eye depending on where you're from. Mine is not. 66, this is an earlier car. Very cool. Mini Moak. Uh, Jaguar E-types. Look all around. Oh, wow, look at that thing. That's cool. We'll get to those. Don't worry, we're not going to miss a car. I'll show you everyone here. These are just beautiful to drive. Watch my full driving review of the E-type Jag. Glorious cars. I also reviewed a super light Jaguar. Sunbeam Tiger. Uh, Rolls Royce. Yeah. C type Jaguar. Five outright victories at Le Mans for Jaguar. Interesting story about these. Enzo Ferrari did not really like to innovate. He liked to wait for the racing technology to be proven and then he would adopt it. So these were the cars that, uh, really adopted the disc brakes that um, eventually when they were out braking Ferraris and beating them, well, that's when Enzo adopted the disc brakes. So the disc brakes came from these racing Jaguars back in the day. And uh, this one is in the proper British racing green color. Very, very nicely presented here. And uh, yeah, there's just some amazing cars out here. All right, let's get into... Uh, I'll double back and show you all these crazy cars here. Look at that. That Miata is awesome. But let's go into the uh, Concord Lemons here. We've got a whole bunch of Pintos. I remember driving one of these back in the day. It was blue. Man, did I love it. Because when you're learning to drive and you can drive anything, you love it. Even if it's a Pinto. Mine didn't look like this. This is too fast. Search Drive an Ivan in any car and you'll find it. I'm showing you all the cars here at Amelia all weekend. But uh, this one's cool. Very cool. They even had a wagon. This is a Vega. They had a Pinto and Vega wagons. Uh, just, uh, the, yeah, there's a runabout. That's what they called it. Basically, the early hatchback. And, you know, look at the interior. These were actually super cool cars. Alfa Romeo Milano. Uh, predecessor to my 164L that I had. I currently have a GTV GTC. But these are great. Um, and uh, I always thought it was controversial, the shape here. I never really loved it. I like the 164 better because it just comes comes and just swoops straight up. I don't know. Wasn't a great design, but they're good driving cars. A lot of body roll, but uh, really performance. Recaro seats there. And these were, these were 
Fun cars to drive, certainly, back in the day. Look at this. <laughs> free lemonade and Hot Wheels. Oh, free Hot Wheels, look at that. Nothing's free today, is it? Should we get one? Should we get one? Which one should we get? Uh, that one's pretty cool. That one's pretty cool. That one's pretty cool. Driving Ivan's going with this one. I've got so many of these. But hey, now I got another one. Thanks, they're free. It's very nice of these people. What else do we have here? Ooh, a Bricklin back there. We got a Bricklin, we got a John Deere. We got a... <laughs> That's hilarious. We got a lifted Volvo wagon. Oh my God. <laughs> That's hilarious. Rust Belt American, Brooklyn, Jeep, Buckeye Sprite down there. And uh, here we go. All right. Are you the queen of, are you the belle of the ball? The princess of the ball. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Here we have a Frog Eye, Bug Eye Sprite. Do you want to see what they're like to drive? Search my 66 Austin Healy Sprite and drive in Ivan. Look at this wagon here, all looking weathered and lovely. That is cool. Man, that is good. Uh, this is nice, the Jaguar Saloon. I don't know what it's doing over here with the lemons. Looks too good to be over here. But uh, anyway, very cool. Smart car. Uh, no, that's a Toyota. Actually, I reviewed this car. This is the Toyota hmm, I, IQ, yeah. I call it the Q. Very cool. I reviewed this a long time ago. 5 Series BMW. Probably... Uh, that's a 530i. It was a nice, this was a quick one. They had the 528e, which was the uh, economy one, really. And uh, look at this, some Eastern Block cars. I reviewed a lot of Jaguli, actually. I love these lifted cars. Look at this lifted Beetle. Very cool. Um, just a normal 3-liter BMW SUV. Uh, Mini Moke, a Beetle. I don't know what this is. Rust rod, rat rod. <laughs> I love it. It's cool though. It's a bug. 72 VW. Suicide doors. Guitar, uh, guitar neck for a shifter. Hell yeah. I'm a guitar guy. I love the guitars. Look at that. Ferrari GTC4 Lusso. BMW, Viata. A lot of cool cars driving around Amelia right now. So, uh, you never know what you're going to see. I just shot a video actually on, uh, um, just uh, some wild cars that I've been seeing around Amelia right now. Look at this one. That's pretty wild, huh? Look at this. What do you call this? I don't know. What is this thing? The Booney Bug is a fiberglass kit you could purchase from Blueprints from Popular Mechanics Magazine 1974 and Billiards. The RQ Riley Booney Bug. There you go. Now you've seen it all on Drive and Ivan. Couple Corvairs. Wow, I'm so glad I came over here. There's so much to see. There's so many events going on. And I'm trying to hit them all so I can share them with you. Love these lifted Miatas, though. That is cool. Very, very cool. And the orange... Uh, the orange Pinto. I was telling an early story of me driving this back in the day. One of the first cars I drove. It didn't look like it was blue. This is cool. You got, it's resto modded. You got some newer wheels on it. Yeah, You got the Vans red wood shoes. Very nice. Where'd you drive it from? How far? Just Jacksonville. Oh, that's not very far, but it's very cool. Oh, a Gremlin. There's a song by uh, the Rave Ups called uh, uh, Gremlin. She's so fine, my 109. <laughs> it's about this car, actually. AMC Gremlin. Uh, and again, they had the pink Tinto wagons. This one's really, really cool. This one looks right out of a uh, 80s kind of, uh, 70s kind of, you know, like the, how they did the vans back then. Just so cool. <laughs> Look, it's got the Bucky's blanket in the back. And uh, if you've never been to a Bucky's, you should go. Get yourself some $3 gas. $2.99 right now in Florida. Boss 302 Pinto. Wow. That must be a beast. The Pinto Stampede, they're calling it. There's an early 70s Chevelle. Malibu. I had a convertible Malibu. 1970. Kind of a lifted Mercedes sedan here. <laughs> this one. Looking good. Surviving.
Wow, are there some cool cars here? <laughs> Looks like we got a. Uh, I shouldn't speak too soon. I like to uh, investigate a little more. Look at that. That is pretty cool. A lot of cool stuff out here. <laughs> and uh, kind of looks like a Fiat 600, I would say. Fiat 600, right? I just imported a Fiat 126 with Martini livery. It needs a little speed. It could use a little. Uh, it could use a little get up and go like yours has. Is this yours? Fast? 210 to the wheel. 210 to the wheel. That's screaming fast. Wow. Very, very cool, sir. How long have you had it? About six months. Six months? Did you build it yourself? I did not. Uh, Harold Noble built it. He passed a few years ago. I got it from the guy he sold it to. Wow. What a beast of a car. Where are you based? Uh, Jacksonville. Jacksonville. Okay. Love it. So cool. You got 600? Here's a Ferrari, of course. When they uh, started showcasing the engines back there, beautifully. Three, uh, 360, I think, Spider. Showed you an F430 at the Broad Arrow auction before. Oh, this is beautiful. Lancia Fulvia right here. And uh, just an absolute gorgeous Italian car. I wonder if it's for sale. I want it so bad. Um, 1966 Lancia. <laughs> I don't even know what it says. For Zeddy. It's a Fulvia. That's what it is. I don't know what they wrote there, but it's a Fulvia. Wow. I had a Lancia Zagato. To, so to see a, a Beta Coupe that's this clean is rare. This is a Lancia Beta Coupe in green, and it is rare to see them this clean. This is a very clean Lancia Beta Coupe. Uh, man, do I love these. I have a driving review of the Lancia Zagato. Yeah, Search Lancia and Drive and Ivan. You'll see my thesis review, my Lancia Delta Integrale review. But uh, this is a really clean 1800 Lancia Beta Coupe. Probably from the late 70s. Ferrari 400. I love these because this is the first Ferrari I ever drove. And uh, this is probably a 412, actually, I believe. Let me take a closer look. Uh, no, gated manual. It must be a 365. No, it's a 412. Gated manual. That's rare to see a 412 gated manual. Very rare car here. Last of the last. So Ferrari 400. Some of them are 365s. I drew, I've driven one of those in a manual. It doesn't have the H gate. But these were the luxurious Ferraris. And uh, I love them. Even with the three-speed GM transmission, they were cool. 2007 SLC K200. Everybody's drooling over it with the uh, scissor Lamborghini doors. And uh, this was the one uh, they were talking about here. This is the one they used to advertise the show, actually. Here we have a Fiat X19 from 1982. Yellow with blue seats. Probably wasn't yellow to start. Maybe it was. Who knows? K200. <laughs> uh, okay. How cool is that? Do we like it? I think we like it. Ah, and this one. Wow. I drove a few of these in Italy this summer. I was going to buy one. Never did. I bought a couple few other things. If you want to know what I imported from from Italy, uh, just search Drive and Ivan and importing a car from Europe. But man, I drove at least three or four of these in Italy this summer. I was going to buy one. I never did because I couldn't find the right one for the right price. Is this yours? Yeah. Love it. How long have you had it? A year. It's a 916, that's what they call them. Yeah. And uh, yeah. love them. Which spec is this? What's the engine? Uh, the color's killer. Is it like the one, two, two liter, 1.8? It's the uh, two, liter? Two, two liter twin spark. Two liter twin spark, yeah. Can I open it? Okay. Oh, well, maybe I can. I drove a turbo actually with a custom interior. That was kind of nice. They drive beautifully. This is a turbo. Oh, nice, yeah. And, and the, the convertibles, they don't really have the rear seats. The, uh, the coupes do, but uh, the convertibles are great fun. A turbo convertible is rare. Oh, okay. Are you keeping it or are you selling it? I love it. I hear you. I imported a Fiat Barchetta, and I bought an MGF also, which I licensed and drove all around there. 
Uh, drove it on the Nürburgring. Amazing. But these were really fun. This has uh, that is a, uh, a little, metal let's say, looser award ceremony than ours. There'll be jumps, there'll be laughter. Nice, yeah. Uh, as does the Barchetta. Yeah. These are beautiful cars from the late 90s. What year is it? 96. And, uh, yeah, right here. So there you go. Beautiful car, sir. The Alfa Romeo GTV. I also have a 73 GTV convertible. Rare car. <laughs> About $1, yeah, these are great. I, I will end up with one. I think I'm going back soon. I, I'm trying to uh, get back there. Alpha 4C here. Just search Drive and Ivan Alpha 4C. You'll see my driving review of this one. Very interesting transmission in these. Drives like no other car. It's really an interesting drive. Looks like a Lotus Elan, but drives like nothing else. Right? Have you seen my Drive and Ivan review of your car? You should watch it, sir. Showing you every car here and every car all weekend at all the events. Drive and Ivan. Thank you. Beautiful car. Thanks for bringing it up. Lovely. Look at this thing. This is the uh, Pannard. Oh, c'est magnifique. That's all aluminum. All aluminum. I, have, I love my Citroën. I like the French cars. And this one is quirky as all get out, and I love it. Oh, my God. It is absolutely magnificent. Is it yours? No, I wish it okay. was. Yeah, I told you. My dad it's bought, the Tigra. My dad bought one of these in 58 brand new. Wow. Does it have suspension or anything weird like yeah, that? It had, uh, two cylinder engine. Oh, okay, two cylinder. Wow. I wonder if it can get out of its own way, can it? It didn't do bad car so light. Yeah, that's true. Really cool. You don't see one of those every day, do you? Those beautiful Mercedes over here. Ice 911 with the RS wing on it. And, uh, wow, wow, wow. 3.5280 SC. Saw one at the Broad Arrow auction, too. It's a great looking car. SL55, 280 SE. What else are we looking at over here? Just show you the rest of these. Go line by line and show you everything out here. This is a Wayne Carini sponsored event. He's probably milling out around here somewhere i've been to f40 motorsports and seen his great um great uh, so place over there a very interesting question somebody mm. walked up and said i didn't win an award could i still take something home with me and we said absolutely because we do still have some free copies of classic motorsport magazine available you can get a free copy of classic motorsports magazine by walking right over to the classic motorsports tent it's the uh, the tall black tent with the classic motorsports logo on top and uh, just uh, ask That's for nice. a free copy of the magazine. There, there's no email sign up or anything. You can just walk right away. Classic a copy Motorsports. Of fantastic magazine. This is pretty cool. Look at this one. one. 92 Mercedes 500E. This one is the one. This is built in the Porsche factory. Built in the Porsche factory alongside of Porsches. And this is the one you wanted. AMG 500E. What a great car. Are you having fun? She's having fun. Very rare Mercedes here. Beautiful car. If you want to see a tour of the Mercedes Museum from this summer, search Driving Ivan and Mercedes. I show you every car in the museum. And there's some great ones there. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Compressor. That means supercharged. This is a later SL. Mercedes. Well, they're but they're they're silver. And so, you know, because I, I had a 89? shop. 87. 87. I had a shop second mine. to the last year. 89 is the last year. Beautiful cars here. They're loving it. I see people just hanging out, talking about their cars. Everybody loves the cars here, and it's good to see so many enthusiasts out. 220s, 240d. Yeah, that Quattro is really cool. Man, do I love my TT. Somehow. I love my TT with a baseball glove, leather, Laguna Seca blue. It's a K350 latest Ferrari here. And a modified. I don't know what's going on here. Dealer in Connecticut. Uh, wow. Something's going on. It's been modified. Looking wild, looking cool. Totally modified. Like a resto modded Ferrari. Classic Motorsports Amelia Island kickoff. I don't know what's going on. I can tell you it's cool. It says power hold on it. 
It's very, very cool. Very custom and very, very cool. Smash that like button, subscribe. Let me know what you think of this in the comments. It's pretty darn cool in person, I'll tell you. Okay, European Auto Garage. Uh, BMW Wagon, Porsche, 911. If you have not been talked to personally by Kazakh Motorsport staff and asked to drive your car up, you're going to come up on foot to get your awards. So, again, <laughs> almost everybody is going to claim their awards on foot. You can just walk right up to the stage. There's the clown shoe, BMW Z3M, Corvette, look at that, wow, I didn't notice that before. It's a PT Cruiser limousine, look at that one over there, what are we looking at? What are we looking at? What is this stuff? How crazy cool is that? Look at that thing, oh my god. I had a uh, 420 horsepower PT Cruiser that I sold, but this is the clown shoe. This is the one, the shooting brake. Uh, this is the one you want. That's the BMW you want right there. Look at that. I might want it in Estero Blue, or Laguna Seca Blue, but uh, other than that, this is awesome. Totally cool car. Everybody loves these. Yeah, it was like. Everybody loves them. This looks like an Alpina. Looks like Alpina wheels on this one, the 320i. Um. I had one of these, did a review, I also review a uh, 2002 with Alpina parts. 83 320IS. Alpina wheels? Sort of? Uh, Alpina replicas. Yeah, okay. Very nice. I love it. Drive and Ivan, check it out on YouTube. I review a similar car. I have seen your stuff. <laughs> oh, right. Well, I hope you liked it. <laughs> Rare Porsche 944 here. The color, mint, mintish green. Really, really nice looking. Almost a mint chocolate chip color, huh? Very cool. And uh, Shelby GT 300, and then uh, almost showing you everything here. This lifted, uh, lifted Miata really kicks ass. I love it. Um, I don't want you to miss this uh, Lexus there. They have an LFA that's going on the Broad Arrow auction, which I show you in that video. This is Honda's Roadster here. Uh, if it's a 1400 or usually have the number on the back let's see it's the s600 really early very cool z car right there looking good 1965 wow absolutely beautiful and these z cars they came out around 1970 and man they were cool 944 turbo m2 competition looks like Good stuff look at that i love the wagons Oh, yeah, I, I, I drove it, so we shot with... Yeah, yeah, I called, like, yeah. yeah it's not my agency. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, thank you. Turbo. Beautiful turbo right here. This one is the Widowmaker. Why? Because of that liftoff oversteer. You had some turbo lag, and if it kicked in and you got scared and you lifted off, well, it spun. Just like throwing a hammer, sort of. And uh, that's why it got the reputation of being the Widowmaker. This one's a slant nose, very rare. Uh, 928, S4 maybe. Um, I have a 928, so watch my full driving reviews of that. This one with the dog leg uh, first also. It is a manual car, just like mine. This one's later though, one U-boat. Made famous in uh, certainly the Risky Business movie with Tom Cruise back in the day. But uh, yeah, this is one heck of a car show here. And uh, I'm glad we walked around and saw it together. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. Love the Carmen Ghia too. Watch my full driving review of the Carmen Ghia. But really, thank you so much for watching this. Smash that like button, subscribe, search any car and drive in Ivan. I'll be showing you all the cars this weekend here at the Amelia. I already shown you the Broad Arrow auction cars. And uh, there'll be a Cars and Coffee tomorrow. Uh, might head over to another event later tonight, so keep it on my channel. I'll be going live. And uh, follow me on Instagram, Drive and Ivan Cats. Also the same as my YouTube and The Real Drive and Ivan, leaving off the G on TikTok. I'll be putting some content there too. And again, thank you so much for watching. I'm Drive and Ivan. <laughs>